Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. At the range now we've got the Ruger LCP2 and 22 long rifle. They call this the light rack because it's so light to rack. Let's see how it does. There it is. Holds 10 rounds of 22 long rifle. Which is nice. It's a it's a very lightweight, small little handgun. It, it models almost exact to the LCP2 and 380 that carries six rounds of 380. This has 10 rounds. Now, the ammo that I'm using here is CCI Mini Mag, 40 grain, full metal jacket. But a little bit about this gun. It does have a magazine disconnect. It also has a little extension there on the magazine itself, which makes it nice still primarily a two finger contact but it has a two and three quarters inch barrel the trigger is a it's a nice trigger five and a half pound trigger pull it does have a trigger bar safety in there and it also has a thumb safety a push forward thumb safety so once charged i can move that back and then i have to use my thumb to push forward hammer fired gun with sights built right in the top of the slide let's see how it does try the rabbit here little 22 hang up there let me drop the mag not that unusual it's kind of stuck there we go all right it's a new gun we'll give it a, another chance And there it is. Now that little hang up, not exactly sure what happened, but that's uh, not too unusual for a 22. I had a Federal Full Metal Jacket out a couple weeks ago and it, it had a couple light strikes. This seems to be running much better with this CCI Mini Mag. But it's a soft shooting gun. I mentioned that the specs were almost identical to the 380. And the one thing that is a little bit different is that it's 0.81 inches wide on the slide. Now the MSRP on this is the same as the 380 model, 349. I'm seeing it for right around $300. However, if you look at what happened with the LCP2 and 380, that price dropped quickly. I have a feeling this will too. But it's a pretty comfortable shooter. Good for people with maybe arthritis, maybe beginners, or those who want to train with the larger 380 model could train with this. And have an easier time doing it. But there it is. I'm going to load it up again and see how well this does. So far, I'm really enjoying it. Three mags. One hang up, that's not too bad. It does have those forward cocking serrations and that spring is just so light. It's just so easy to rack in. That's why they're calling it the light rack. All right, here we are again. We've got CCI mini mag and then we'll run some federal match and see how well it does. All right, so the gun ran better than my accuracy that time, but we'll see if we can do better this time. Federal target match. Sort of the cheap stuff, the 325 round white box of Federal. Let's see how it does here. Real nice. All right. You know, a lot of these little guns, it takes a little bit of time and a little bit of patience, but this thing is running really well now. Here we go, 18 yards away, we'll try that gong. Very nice, I think I had nine rounds loaded up that time. This is very much a lightweight gun. Unloaded, 11 ounces with 11 rounds, just over 12 ounces. Here we have the Federal 
target match. Let's see how it does. Not bad, not bad. It's running well now. Sometimes with these small guns, you just have to run some rounds through it. See, it's very much a light rack. You can charge it from just about anywhere. Another thing that is pretty cool is that it comes with a pocket holster, which is how I brought it to the range, right? Just sit it in there, just like that. It sits very well, it's very light, and very much a smooth shooter as well, being that it's 22, and it runs pretty nice today. i to figure which mag is loaded here. Here we go, one more time. And there we go, the Ruger LCP2 22 long rifle, light rack, performing well at the range. Out of all those mags, I had one light rim strike, and that's it. The CCI mini mag and the Federal Match worked great. Uh, the, my first time out a while back, just as a function test, I had a couple issues, but they seem to have worked themselves out, and now I feel pretty confident with this, and I'm gonna show it some more in the future, maybe do some comparisons. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.